Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead, and it does include uh, a bit of a round of thunderstorms for the Oracle Text tomorrow. Severe weather will be on the table. I'll discuss that and then talk about a cool down, which is on the way for the middle part of the week. You can see today we've started the week with lots of sunshine. Temperatures quite pleasant as many locations approaching 70 degrees this afternoon, and it looks like we will get even warmer tomorrow, but that will lead to a chance for some strong to severe thunderstorms. Here's the latest outlook from the Storm Prediction Center for tomorrow and tomorrow night, but basically it's going to be tomorrow. You can see the risk is going to be highest basically to the east of the Arkletex, basically from Monroe into the northern sections of Mississippi up towards Memphis. In our area, we will see a marginal to slight risk, meaning any severe weather in this green area should be isolated. A handful of severe weather reports possible over northwest Louisiana and deep east Texas, as well as the western sections of southwest Arkansas. The threat of severe weather goes up dramatically as you head towards the northeast, towards the Mississippi River. Every severe weather the threat will be possible. The tornado risk it looks like it's going to be highest over the southeastern sections of the Oracle Tex here and I'll show you that with Futurecast here in a second. So let's take you through uh, the next uh, couple of days here with Robin's Toyota Futurecast and you can see that tonight we will start off clear and then the clouds will rapidly return. A few scattered showers possible as you wake up tomorrow morning. Then as we go through the morning the scattered showers and thunderstorms will begin to increase in intensity. Some models hinting we could see a few strong storms over the southeast edge of the area late in the morning, and then that threat will increase further to the north during the afternoon. You can see that here with some of the stronger cells indicated by Futurecast. By 5 o'clock, Shreveport, Texarkana, northwest half of the Oracle Text pretty much done, and then we'll see the uh, severe weather threat wind down as we go into the uh, first half of the evening hours tomorrow evening, and then we'll see lots of sunshine across the Oracle Text for Wednesday. <clears throat> as far as the threats that we're going to be experiencing or potentially could experience, let's talk about the threat of hail here with Futurecast first of all. And you can see the model does show it's a pink hail possible. It's when we get into the black and especially the grays is where the chance of maybe seeing that quarter-sized hailstone will be highest. You can see that risk is going to be highest over the eastern tier of parishes across northwest Louisiana. As far as the uh, tornado risk, again, the models do uh, show different swaths here uh, where the thunderstorms could have a decent amount of rotation associated with it. And you can kind of see, generally speaking, that risk, as I mentioned earlier, highest over the eastern tier of counties and parishes in our viewing area, but definitely looking at the uh, potential for stronger tornadoes uh, further to the east outside of our area. As far as rainfall potential, it doesn't look like we'll see any issues with getting too much rain. In fact, most locations will see amounts that will be well below an inch. It is possible with some of the stronger storms that we could see upwards of one to two inches of rainfall uh, over the eastern tier of counties. Again, where the storms are strongest, obviously, they're going to be dropping a bit heavier rainfall. And you can see how the uh, uh, rainfall totals directly coincide with the outlook from the Storm Prediction Center in that uh, slight risk area. So again, the storms definitely look like they're going to be strongest over northwest Louisiana, near and southeast of Shreveport. So that being said, longer range, we will see a bit of a cool down once this frontal system pushes through. As we look at the pattern here for the next 10 days, you can see the storms, this trough pushes the front through, we cool off for a few days. Then this ridge develops across the Gulf. That's going to warm us up here heading into the weekend. As 70s will return that will allow with the southwesterly flow sh shaping back up the chance for more rain kind of off and on as we go through next week. So your forecast for looks like this. We will see a clear sky this evening. The clouds will increase overnight as we'll see lows ranging from the uh, 40s where the clouds arrive later. 45 in the Queen, 51 in Texarkana, 52 in Shreveport. Tomorrow, thunderstorms will be likely. The strongest storms will be over the southeastern half of the area. That's where the best chance for severe weather will take place. As again, all severe weather threat will be possible, but wind probably going to be our most widespread concern for tomorrow. Head of that front, we'll see highs pretty much area-wide in the low middle 70s. 73 tomorrow in Texarkana, 76 for the daytime high in Shreveport. 10-day forecast shows the dramatic drop-off in temperatures behind this frontal system for Wednesday as we'll see highs in the low middle 50s across the area. 57 degrees in Shreveport both Wednesday and Thursday. You can see Wednesday night will dip into the 30s, back to the 70s as we head into the weekend. And then some cooler air returns by the middle part of next week. And as that cooler air moves in, we'll see the chance for maybe a thunderstorm or two, especially next Tuesday. So all in all, again, a quick round of severe weather a possibility Tuesday afternoon and evening over especially the southeast half of the Arbotex. And it'll dry up and cool off for a couple days starting Wednesday.